go ahead, continue. So last time I just finished the first uh, mission area. And the final boss of that uh, stage was pretty, pretty crazy. We should change to Twilight Mission. Or what? Or Sam. So it seems to be two Twilight Missions. They're both obviously super hard. Look at that. 49 and 15. But yeah, I feel this is a lot like Dice Wars in such that we have an over map. And we have to kind of choose where we want to, you know, do our missions or whatever. Um, probably do a sub mission because it's really quick. I don't know how to find any of the Kodamas, which is nice. Um, let's see. I believe the bandits hired by those four merchants were defeated, but it seems I was wrong. Some still remain at large, terrorizing the villagers. William, you are skilled at slaying demons. Will you now turn your skills to the service of your fellow man? These remnants are but a motley rabble. Strike down the leader and the rest will surely lose their will to fight. Alright, so it looks like there's a bandit problem. Uh, Kuroshima is a small island. I think we read this, yeah. When we first got here, I think we read this. Fishing villages, residents eking out, substance farming on plot of carved out from the hills. Okay, All right, so we're revisiting this place, though. We're continuing very close to where we uh, finished the last mission. Uh, let's actually um, go ahead and level up, actually, because I have some points. I think I can do two levels here. I'll probably do third level by uh, using some of my spirit stones. Um, can always do some more skill, strength, and stamina. Might be better. Oh, I can actually do one more level. And heart. Heart or body? Maybe body. I just like the idea of having more HP. Because with most of these enemies, you can kind of like, you know, wait it out, slash, uh, you know, time your attacks. And so you just slowly whittle down their HP. But if you take like, you know, two or three hits, you're pretty much gonna die. So the more HP, the better. See if I can actually use enough stones to level up one more time. Yeah, for sure. So I need 3,000, I think. So six of these. Just unassign that, though. Oh. Walk up here. Use to obtain ninja points. In this case, one ninja point. So let's go ahead and use that. <laughs> kind of interesting that you use a piece of hair to gain ninja points. These are samurai points. So those are like pretty much free skill points. I'm going to use six of these. That should give me enough to uh, level up one more time. Oops. Yes. Okay. Um, new dexterity. Use more ninjutsu. And it also helps one of my weapons out. So let's go ahead and up some dexterity. Alright, so I have no idea how they changed this map around. I'm assuming everyone's evil. <laughs> <laughs> the slowest of weapon swipes. Whoa. This guy wants some crap too. 
Oh, that killed him. I thought that would, uh, just, like, crit him or something, but... Straight up killed him. It's probably a low stance. Yeah, I feel like low stance is definitely good for a lot of the... simple battles like this. Unfortunately, it's not like Bloodborne, where if you do take damage, if you uh, attack kind of right away, then you actually get some of your HP back. So yeah, the is definitely a lot harder than that. But I guess it's more like a regular Souls game then. But in here... So last time I actually didn't go this way. I don't even know if there's like anything in this direction. Damn, yeah, I might have missed some stuff on the other map. Or uh, yeah. Yep, there's definitely a yokai zone over there. Go demon to fight. Oh my lord. He tricked me. I thought he was going to do something else. Well, luckily the uh, save point is right around the corner. That's always a tough spot when you're fighting in close quarters like that. I could have definitely blocked, but I was already... Probably lure him out here actually. This fighting game is very dangerous. Oh crap. I tried to purify the zone. I got hit. Yeah. Being too aggressive. Too aggressive, but too dumb at the same time. Tethered there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously? Can't swim? Oh my gosh. That's dumb. Alright, I'm bringing myself out there. Like an idiot. I wonder if it's safer to fight inside them. <laughs> okay. It's much easier that time. This is a rare item. Oh, the title of rare item. Let's purify that. Oh. So, it looks like that's all that's in here. I wonder if there's uh, another one in the uh, other mission. I could just kill everybody again. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love how it winds up so much. Ouch. How you shoot me through that? Let's go back. This takes me. Too fast for you. Yeah, that's definitely the good thing about uh, low stance. It's very fast. Most of the time, anyways. I'm still trying to learn a little bit about the uh, game mechanics here. Because, uh. Yeah, I've only played probably like three hours, four hours of this. Alright, so I don't know what to expect here. I bet they'll do like a half jump scares. Because they seem to do that a couple times actually. People just jump out of places. Someone heard me. There he is. There's oh. a helmet on. Sort of getting the hang of it. You pretty much want to keep pulse as much as you can to recover the green bar, which is your stamina in this game. Let's see, 13. Definitely leveled high enough for this. He has a Orochi. are slightly better but I didn't really like Tafana that much. Then again I was fighting the Kodama or uh, not Kodama, Yokai, the demon Oni. I think I, maybe I'm referring to it wrong. I think the demons, the Oni, live in the Yokai realm. Which is kinda like this I can't say it's undead, but it's just like a the shadow realm type of thing. Um, let's try using Tafana against like people. Oops. Because I use it against like the demon, but I have never used it against. Uh, oh wow. Uh, actual people yet, so let's try. Oh, I didn't even look at my uh, like legendary ish gear. Still getting life. Great uh, bonus against people. This is better than this. Has more key recovery speed. Oh, I got the wrong one. Hmm. Definitely not better, but I yeah, think that's the. Uh, 
I didn't pre-order this, obviously. This is a very old game, <laughs> sort of. It's like three years. I guess not very old, but somewhat old. What about the uh, Definitive Edition, I think it's called? Um, which armor am I actually with this one? Definitely... Oh, so this is definitely a lot better. It's nearly... Not double, but... 15? For the defense multiplier? Let's go and switch it out. Heavy. Heavy armor's not good because it's heavy, obviously. So it weighs more. And since it weighs more, it will slow me down. This one's better, though. By quite a bit. So I just got these. Ooh, I gained running speed. And I do get... So this has a lot of elemental defenses. So I think it's actually to some degree better. Let's try it. These charms. Wind charm. What is it? Close combat attack. Enemy paralyzed. So when I paralyze them, this is uh, going to kick in the buff. I guess I can take off the yokai. Or the, not the yokai, the prayer beads. I might want to actually use this as well. Oh, Kodama Sense. Uh, so I don't really actually need Kodama Sense in this uh, level because there are no Kodama to find. So let's switch it to the fan. And the pair of beads. Maybe the wind charm or the fire charm. Let's try wind charm. Alright. There's two dudes, one to get shot. We can both get shot to be honest. Oh, this guy's shooting me. Sneaky. I don't even know if I can shoot that far. Yes, I can. Because it has unlimited range. See, so, yeah, I feel like these uh, Tafana are pretty good against uh, humans, looks like. I'm kind of just running all willy nilly. I probably shouldn't actually my approach down. Nothing worse than getting jumped. I think we're good though. damage. Well, I don't think uh, you can hit him twice in the head. Oh, he spun around. Why? Tricky maneuver there. I will break your guard. 
feel like once it gets to the very end, kind of just go for the kill there. If you're like close in like that. If you're uh, far away, then maybe not. Obviously, you don't want to go ham and just whiff a bunch of strikes. Who sees me? This guy. Ooh. Mm, it's pretty brutal strikes here. It's pretty cool, yeah, like every weapon has like a uh like uh execution style move. Of course it won't like execute him, but I'll just say right now health obviously, but just do buttload damage. Here. I think so. Someone saw me, but there he is. He's dumb. He's gonna stand there while they shoot him. <laughs> that was pretty silly. Is there a way up there? This is the uh, beginning of the village. I wonder if I can open this door. No. That doesn't make any sense. How do I get on top of that house? Oh. Hello. Ooh, good punish. Just slightly not scary per se, but just kind of sucks that I can't open this door as a shortcut in case I die. Granted, I could just well, I guess running through is not that good because they can actually chase you uh, pretty far. It seems I don't know exactly how far uh, people chase, but I think humans can chase almost the whole way. See that? Get the guy's helmet off. He also has a head to be shot. you can break. Let's kill the guy without the helmet. <laughs> the guy's like, what? Oh, he has double swords. Shit. 
too slow, son. Oh, he has the dual swords. As a drop. Nice. Another one of these spears. That's pretty good. I'm starting to like the Tifanas. I didn't like them at first, but kind of growing on me. Just waiting for a guy to just be around the corner for no reason. I was gonna get to a point where I can't just like spam people down like that. Huh. Why is this the door? So why can't I open that door but not the other gate before? Let's go on this way. a little further than I thought he would. a lot more fun now that I can like kind of get a drop on these guys and they just go down like crazy. Got a good battle axe. Take this outside, shall we? This guy's big as crap. Mission complete. Nice. Oh, so I guess it's like a one shot sort of thing. Nice. I wonder if that was it. Like, uh, I didn't have to kill everybody, I just had to kill that main big guy. Oh, it looks like I can't even take on these other challenges now that I've beaten the man. That kind of sucks. Oh well. And mission. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little longer than that. But I guess it's because it's a side mission, so you don't have to do it.
Uh, or it won't be like that long of a mission. Very right, cool. Let's see, marvelous work, just as I expected. The villagers were overjoyed. They certainly have met with a string of misfortunes of late. Let us hope that this is the last. Well, it looks like I got some ninjutsu here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I can pause here. Uh. Oh, I think there was more armor down here. the st strongest one I have and has the paralysis which is nice looks like it also has a uh, inherit a skill that you can inherit uh, the enemies defeated damage bonus or if we could actually get to a higher rank than that so to see um, but yeah I should probably dismantle a lot of these uh, weapons that I'm not going to use most likely same with these uh, armor pieces yeah, it's just so much like <laughs> stats to kind of sift through. It's crazy again, like just how much. Uh, what do you call it? How many drops we actually get? Like holy crap! Because definitely in like the other Souls games, you don't deal with this that much, so it's not as like overwhelming with all these uh, different uh, items. Like already, this is better than this, and I. Pretty sure I recently got that too. But yeah, I feel like what you really want is to again dismantle your gear that you're not gonna use. But also, if there is one that has like a uh, inheritable skill, then you would save it and then try to fuse it with something else to uh, have it pass on its skill. I feel like I probably will only wear up to medium armor. I won't wear any heavy armor. Because I don't think I really want to go for a strength build. Where, again, we just carry heavy stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Of course, I don't know exactly how high the levels are going to go. Probably, potentially up to 100. I'm pretty sure maybe even higher than that. Because this looks definitely like a grind heavy game. Look at the way they have it set up. And I think this is actually after Bloodborne was uh, released. If I'm not mistaken. Um, i trying to remember when I played Bloodborne for the first time. I think it was... Uh, when did that game even come out? I'd say three... Maybe four years ago. I knew it was when I didn't have a PS4 at the time. And then... People are like, uh, ooh, Bloodborne's coming, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get a Xbox One either. I was pretty much just still on uh, 360 and PS3. I always get the next console like later when it reduces in price because I have so many games, especially now that I have a gaming PC. There's really no need to uh, rush <laughs> and get a uh, next-gen console. Uh, looks like this fan's newer. Different stats, of course. So it's more luck. Luck's about the same, actually. Um, I guess the switch fans. That's the difference. Less defense. Wait, what? No. Hmm, okay. Switch fans. Looks like this is a newer prayer bead. So what's the difference? It's better water damage. She has another fan. I don't know. I <laughs> just have a bunch of fans. What if, like, you actually... S That'd be cool you can actually see the fans. I don't see it on the character anywhere. But that would be pretty cool. If you just had it, like, uh... You know, 
know, closed up, of course. Because having a fan actually out is meh, kind of dangerous, if anything. Yeah, I have so many items already. There's no restores, no items. Samurai locks, go ahead and use it. Lightning amulet, abuse your weapon with lightning. Oh, so these amulets, uh, use your weapon with whatever element that you want. Uh, can I level up out here? Question. I think I have to go to a shrine. But I think there's a shrine at the starting point. Nice, I got two of these. Reduces damage from fall. So I have yet to actually drop down so far as to take damage. So maybe I don't really care too much about that. I haven't really used ninjutsu yet, but I do plan to eventually. Let's get a little bit of extra healing. But yeah, I feel like the again these prestige points are pretty much like the badass ranks from uh, Borderlands. I thought, that was, I thought that was pretty cool. It's like little subtle buffs. That over time, uh, over time it will. Uh, oh, well, this like gives lore on these enemies, and if I want, to, if I want more lore, I would kill a hundred of them, or at least eventually I would kill a hundred of them. Okay, Yoki. On Ryoki. Oh my gosh. Oh, it says I have to defeat so many of them. That means I have to either rerun the mission or I might meet more of these. Interesting. But I'm pretty sure as I level up and I come back, it'll be a lot easier to beat. Interesting. Sakato. Oh, yeah. This is the first spirit we saw when we were in the dungeon in London. She was the one that likes. Yeah, set us free, more or less. There's only two spirits I know. There's me, William. Yeah, first they didn't even tell us who he was. Then, when he met uh, Hanzo, then, uh, yeah, we got to uh, know who he was. So he was an Irish-born Irish English sailor. Interesting. Lost both his parents in the war with England, but also met his guardian spirit, Sarsi. The two have been inseparable ever since. Huh. I don't know if... Yeah, I think Neo is the first of its game, but it's just, just so much backstory that we don't know about until, you know, we read these, uh, kind of files. Uh... William grew to be a strong, capable young man and threw in his lot with an English Navy privateer. So he became a pirate, more or less. Maybe not a pirate, I don't know. But he definitely sailed the seas, looking for treasure, probably. But yeah, he looks like his special abilities to uh, be able to locate these Amrita spiritual stones. So he was a pirate, yeah. He flourished as a pirate. Just before William escaped the Tower of London, the alchemist Edward Kelly stole oh yeah stole his spirit from him determined to get her, get her back William followed all the way across the sea to Japan but nothing he had heard about this fabled country of gold prepared him for the realm of supernatural peril and death it proved to be here's a Tori Hanzo we just met him he taught us how to use uh, ninja skills I did unlock some I just haven't set them yet oh yeah Derek the executioner we did beat him. <laughs> he was so easy in his human form, but once he uh, turned demonized, yeah, like, things got uh, pretty bad. All right here's this guy, yeah. Kind of reminds me of Ruvik from Evil Within. Mainly because he has a hood on, probably, and he's like pale. But, yeah, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is our uh, blacksmith, pretty much. So she's gonna help us. Upgraded weapons and whatnot. Oh, 
Oh, is this a video? Is that video on? Oh, am I just replaying the mission? I don't think I wanted to do this. I didn't know. No, I think it was just a video, actually. So yeah, we're good. Yeah, it's just replaying the prologue video. Alright. So let's actually make a pit stop to our lovely blacksmith. Hmm. Yes, I'm store and retrieve items, but I'm going to disassemble. Uh, so it's by rarity. I should probably uh, sell, or not sell, but dismantle all the unrare stuff. Oh, <laughs> I'm already in the rare, rarer stuff. Let's see, longbows at 42. Sell that one. Or, not sell, but dismantle. Grapple damage. Might want to keep that so I can uh, inherit that into a different weapon. This one, though, I think I can let go. I only barely use the Odachi. It wasn't that great. At least when I used it, but. Again, just gotta get used to the weapon set. Um, key damage. I might want to keep this too. Again, inherit it. You can tell because on that key damage uh, ability it has those two like it's like a square arrow to another square. That means it can be transferred onto a different weapon. Let's go ahead and sell that. It's very strong, but it's very slow. So I don't like that. If there's a way to like, I guess eventually level yourself up so it makes uh, these heavy weapons a lot uh, faster, then maybe, but... Let's see, get rid of the spear. Get rid of the spear. Get rid of the spear. Get rid of this, this, that. Yeah, this one's not transferable, so sell that. I think this is one I've been using. That's why it's uh, familiar, familiar, <laughs> familiar, blah, blah, blah. I can't even say that. Familiarity <laughs> is uh, maxed out. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of both of them actually. Because there's a lot stronger one up ahead, uh, above. Because despite all these stats, like, it gets to a point where just raw damage increases better. You don't need all the other stuff if uh, you can just straight up murder <laughs> whatever you're hitting. Okay, so this one has a transferable skill, so maybe I'll keep it. I'm not quite sure how I feel about these Odachis yet, so I'm just going to keep it. Very strong, but it's very slow. This bronze hammer is still good, <laughs> even though it's a uh, level five. I can probably break it apart. That. Oh, this one's actually this one. Also, oh, it also looks like uh, this blue color rarity is rarer than this yellow one. That's good to know too. So as you can see, the rarity is white, yellow, blue, purple. And I think there's orange to be legendary or exotic. Wait. Let's make sure I some of the ones that are checked.
gifts. Just do some work for me. Oh yeah, I should disassemble some of these armors. Uh, probably same thing. So I don't... Well, I'm pretty sure some of the armors can also be uh, transferable. Oh yeah. Actually, let me see. It's by type. Level, just weight. Probably do it by weight. Probably sell all the heavies, except for, of course, the uh, helmet. Cause that's technically a heavy, but um, it's just very strong. It's actually DLC. I think I'll keep all the mediums. I'll keep everything else, but I'll also look at. Level ability, maybe ability. No, not ability. Because I want to sell the low defensive multipliers. Or maybe I just don't care. Maybe I should sell by level. So it's the high level on top. Yep. So sell these lower ones on the bottom. Uh, I guess sell up to level. Let's see. Because up to the DLC, so level six. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And then any uh, white rarity commons, I'll sell to. Okay. All right. It's so pretty much gonna wait to really craft anything because again, it's really early in the game. It would be really worth it. Right, level 12. So I guess you would, you know, do the submission to level up. Because the original mission is on level 5. Though it took a little longer because, again, I was struggling. <laughs> but now I'm a lot stronger. So let's go ahead and do this one. Welcome, Hanzo. It is good of you and your friend to come. So William, was it? I am told that you have a certain measure of skill in dealing with yokai and monsters. It is with these abilities in mind that I have a favor task. My son, Nagamasa has gone off to defeat a band of rogues, and I have not heard from him since. I would go to his aid myself, but my body is not what it was, <laughs> what it once was. Will you go and save my son in my stead? There are three, six, seven, eight of uh, those Kodai spirits. That's what I look for. In the north of Gyushu, beneath the mountains of Nakatsu, lies a complex warren of limestone caves created by oh, eons of erosion. Bold rogues make their home in its shallowest levels, but even they fear to tread into its deepest depths. Their depths. What's a cat? Neko. Anzo's ways are curious indeed. That's a twist. Even cats speak in these lands. Yes, they, oh, they also have two tails. Oh, never mind. There's a new guardian. <laughs> you had Nimi got that guardian spirit, born from the light of human faith and belief. Aratama fiends are born from the darkness of human grudge and anger. The world of living perches atop this delicate balance between light and dark. Long years of strife have fueled the fiend's power, and now yokai is proud here. So yokai are like spirit demons, or something like that. Now you should thank me for allowing you to converse in the tongue of this land.
So did uh, this uh, cat, <laughs> cat god, <laughs> just uh, teach me Japanese. Like download a Japanese into his brain. All right, so I get to have two more levels. Stamina, actually, more body and skill. Wow, that's a lot of buff, like increase in damage. That is a perfect. Uh, so I need like a couple thousand more for the next level. I wonder if I can just use some of these stones. I don't think 15 is enough. I need like 2,000 something. Alright. Let's just move on then. Yeah, I need 2,200. Exactly. Just about. Oh, they're already camping right here. Actually, I should probably use my gun. Oops. The goose. That's some nice reloading we got there. Yeah. Wait. Did I just knock his arm off with a blunt weapon? Holy crap. That is crazy. Yeah, the gun is a lot more powerful. Oh, you bastard. You go die now, thank you. I had a feeling they'll do something like that eventually. Just like have a very tight corner and just scare the crap out of me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I dropped the body too. Oh, something's right there. It's very. I'm gonna shoot the far guy. Nah, it's too hard. Oh, headshot. It's like half scope. Sniping people. Ooh, and I got some rifle ammunition back. I see you sneaking over there. I do love how they kept it really traditional by having it like require a fuse to shoot. He's out of my arm. Oh. I guess that's one tactic you can do, just like walk in, block in. Like this, because you don't like lose stamina or key from doing it. So it's really no point not to just stay safe. Yeah, if you uh, keep the uh, control stick neutral, it'll actually back dash. But hold uh, forward, it'll front front dash. 
Oh, so that's a shortcut. Fortunately, there's no like uh, shrine right here, so. Make sure that door is open. Let's open that door. Big guy in there. <laughs> Love how this is like a huge dude right here. Totally whipped. I got behind him. Nice. So I missed that dialogue because I'm sitting here trying to fight something. <laughs> sitting here trying to talk to me. Distracted me. <laughs> I love when you just like ram things. Also, love it. Like everything's empty. Empty pots everywhere. Let's get some. <laughs> Definitely being like over leveled helps tremendously. That's probably that one room that was locked. I knew I heard a second guy, but he never appeared, so let's get fighting right there. Speaking of fighting, Dead Heat Matsuraburo. Block forever. Yeah, that's probably the one good thing uh, about this game, where it's like pretty much nothing's overpowered. You can't just sit there and block. You can't just wail on people infinitely. Maybe down this way. Sure, what that did. Somebody saw me. Oh, this guy saw me. Somebody else.
I like this. <laughs> Game's reason. Saved here. Let me fix this. 